Good morning, all you hikers and trailblazers out there. So it's the beginning of March. I'm going to tackle two Adirondack 46ers, nipple top and dial. They're two peaks, both over 4,000 feet. It should be around a 13 mile round trip. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm packing for the hike. Uh, so first and foremost, got my snowshoes, my Merrill hiking boots. Then I have a small camelback with a two liter bladder in there. Now I have an algae and water bottle, banana, PB&J, trail mix, orange, and a Nutri-Grain bar. I also got crampons. Now these will go over the boots uh, in case it gets icy in spots. And then as for what I'm wearing, I have snow pants on. I have Under Armour under my snow pants. Under Armour top and I'm going to wear a coat, neck warmer, hat and gloves. Uh, temperature is around 7 degrees right now, real feel around zero. So it's important to never overdress because if you overdress you'll start to sweat and then that sweat will eventually make you cold. So what I would recommend is you know start off light, bring some extra clothes to put into your pack. And if you start to get cold then layer up but you never want to start with too much gear on because uh, you'll often find once you get going, you'll start to sweat. So as you can see, I'm not bringing too much. Gonna have my phone, my GPS watch, um, pack minimally, bring extra food. Um, a phrase that I like to live by, it's better to have and not need than need and not have. All right, I'll keep you updated throughout this hike. So I'm three miles in. You may wonder why why do I need snowshoes? There hasn't been a fresh snowfall. But if you don't, you'll sink right in. And as you can see, this is straight up. You're never gonna do this in hiking boots. The snowshoes will give you good grip with the spikes on the bottom. And also, if you get a pair, they have a little heel level, which helps uh, ease the stress on your calves as, as you hike these steep inclines. So another reason for snowshoes, there's probably about six plus inches of snow on this trail. So it's important to have that weight dispersed, stay on top of that snow. Now if you're wearing a, a, a boot, you know, that's a lot more weight in less surface area and you'll tend to sink in and kind of fall into that snow it's known as post holing so it can be very dangerous uh, depending on how deep you sink so there's there's a you know not only is it easier to hike the mountain with snowshoes on but there's also a safety aspect as well and actually new york state and the adirondack park if there's six or more inches state law requires you to wear snowshoes so what started out as a single digit hike, uh, it's drastically uh, getting warmer out. So we're probably around 15 degrees. Uh, but one thing I wanna note, that's a good tip. So if you have a camelback, uh, this is the way to have your water flowing with the dial parallel to the tube. Now, after you're done drinking, you're gonna wanna lock out that nozzle. Suck the remaining water out of that tube and then pre to prevent your tube from freezing and cutting all access to your water, what I personally do is I tuck it right into my shirt. That's going to keep your, your tube uh, warm, prevent freezing, because uh, once it's frozen on a hike, chances are it's not going to thaw out which is gonna limit your access to your water supply unless you have additional water sources. So you could tuck it under your shirt, under your coat, whatever you gotta do uh, to keep it warm and uh, above 32 degrees to prevent that freezing 